Welcome to The Truth About Men. On this episode, we're going to be talking about modern women in society today. So you have women out here who basically choose men and run through men like Amazon reviews. So on this episode, we're going to be watching a young lady who is literally rating all of her baby daddies. So ladies, if you ever wanted to know what it looks like before you have children, you want to be Miss Independent, you want to have multiple baby daddies based on your selection process, this is what it looks like. So let's enjoy this video. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. This is my first baby daddy, um, Ace. Uh, he is a fucking ladies man. He is fine as hell, bitches. I had a fight, everybody, over this man. But I was number one, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Um, I truly believed if he wasn't murdered that we would have had all of our kids together and we would probably still be together till this day only because the simple fact is I'm a dumb bitch and he's in love with me but whatever I would give him a 7 out of 10 I don't really like that he was like always in the streets but so I'll give him a 7 to 10 love him to death still to this day um, 0 out of 10 for dying that was fucked up really fucked me up with that what one what the hell boy this motherfucker here. This is my second baby daddy, too tall. Um, what the? This nigga look like he hit permanent shit. licks. Look uh, at this guy. This nigga you I see at the gas station standing outside trying to sell you some bogus ass weed. I know this nigga don't got red Timberlands on. If a bitch date a nigga with red Timberlands, no that's a red flag. What the fuck? Literally since he was like old, he's only seen his son like two times, didn't come to the delivery, even though I called his phone, asked him to come. Gave me $80 when I had the baby, and that's all the money I've ever gotten from him. He's been on child support for like three years and I haven't seen a dime. So, he's a loser. This is my third baby daddy, White Mike. Um, love the guy. A great guy. <laughs> Cheater, but a great guy. Um, Cheater good step daddy. and a great Takes guy. Takes care of his family. Not only do he you have two other off. baby daddies, but two random fuck boys. Ready to fight him. You actually are calling um, a cheater a good guy. I give Yo, him a modern eight, women eight, nowadays. Ten. He's alright. That thing. Good. <laughs> that um, thing ran through. Choo choo! <laughs> all aboard the snow train. Got all the kids, no problems there. He's just a fucking weirdo. Anyways, what did I give him? Eight out of ten? Nine out of ten? Yeah, I do. He be giving me that money. <laughs> And he be paying that rent, so 10 out of 10 recommend. I cannot believe that there are women out there like this, but I'm thankful that this video exists. I credited the girl in the video so you can find her page, talk to her. Maybe you want to be a baby daddy. Uh, are you looking to be a baby daddy to a thick white girl who doesn't have much morals? Check her out. She's right there. So um, this is modern women in society today. Ladies, what do you got to say for yourself? She's not the only one. So please don't comment below women aren't like that no they are more than 50 percent of modern women are this way this is modern women no matter how you want to get mad no matter how you want to get mad at me and say that's messed up why are you talk she put this out there it got millions of views on tiktok i have a page to help men not fall into this situation fellas let me tell you all the red signs with this woman first of all look at how she speaks if a woman speaks like this, automatic red flag, okay? So remember, fellas, I'm giving you red flags to look out for if you are a single man with no children. Or maybe you just tired of being a beta male. You tired of being a simp? Because there's definitely more simps and beta males than there are high-value men and alpha males, right? If you're sick and tired of that, look at the red, red flags. One. If a girl got a baby daddy in general, period, that's a red flag. Why is that a red flag? Well, most baby daddies don't want to see the mom happy, right? So you got to deal with that. Not only that, you got to deal with the co-parenting situation. You got to deal with a lot of stuff when you're dealing with a baby mama. So you better smash and dash. There's no need for you to last. Another red another red flag is high level of artificial enhancements. Also, the cheaper versions, you need to be running for the hills. It's a smash and dash. I could tell you the difference between a smash and dash and a girl you want to get married to. This white girl don't want to get married. 
That's not what she's looking for. She's looking for the come-ups, big dick, toxic relationships, and whatever the hell else she found on reality TV. Another red flag you can find in a woman is if a woman back talks you, if a woman is disrespectful, if a woman curses a lot, those are red flags. Get the hell up out of there. You don't want no argument of woman. You don't want a woman that's cursing a lot. Get the hell up out of there. So these type of women are danger. They're good for smashing and, and, and passing because they're going to let you hit it. If you got three baby daddies, you letting motherfuckers hit it. There is no, oh, no, she's not going to let. No, she's letting people hit it. That girl is being ran through. That is a snow train. That snow bunny is getting ran through way past Easter. Ran through. That girl is ran is through. If anybody decides to sleep with this girl, uh, make sure y'all set up an STD appointment. That's one. That's another red flag with women. Take the women to the clinic before you hit it raw. A lot of these women will be scared to go to the clinic. Well, you don't trust me? No, bitch. I don't know you. I literally do not know you. A couple months ago, you didn't exist. Move to the future, you exist. They have clinics for a reason. You're not going to try to flip it on me. You don't trust me? I don't. First of all, look how many baby daddies you got. And I know you didn't go to clinic with none of them. No, 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 no. So more of the story, guys. These type of women belong to the streets. Stay far, far away. All right? Protect your seed. Protect your legacy. All right? You want a fit, feminine, submissive woman who is willing to sign up to your program. You know what I'm saying? Who's nice to you every day.